In the previous video, I provided some tips on preparing our car and safety equipment for winter storage. With spring now upon us, it's time to start getting our car ready for the upcoming track season. In this video, I'll provide some guidance and product recommendations to help make sure that we are keeping our engine as cool as possible as we push it to extremes while on track. Just plain water is possibly the best engine coolant on this planet. It's got a great heat transfer ability, which means its ability to remove heat from surfaces, yet also not increase its own temperature. But don't use standard tap water or well water in your coolant system as it's very corrosive. Redline makes a product called Water Wetter, and what this does is it reduces the surface tension of water, or essentially makes it more slippery. So any bubbles that are formed are smaller in nature, so there's more coolant actually in contact with the hot metal surfaces, helping to remove even more heat. Dyno tests that they ran have shown a coolant drop of 28 degrees from glycol based coolant and 20 degrees from water. What this cooler engine temperature also does for us is we can possibly advance the spark timing, helping to create more torque. To use, simply add a 12 ounce bottle of water wetter to your coolant system. A 12 ounce bottle will treat up to 12 to 16 quarts of either glycol based coolant or distilled water. Similar to water wetter is a product from BP Racing called Stay Frosty. According to the marketing materials, BP Racing manufactures their product using the reverse osmosis filtration process, which goes a step beyond distilled water and removes the negatively charged chloride ion. This negatively charged chloride ion has been shown to cause corrosion and pitting of aluminum coolant surfaces. Stay Frosty comes pre-mixed, so to use, simply drain your coolant system and fill with Stay Frosty. Links to both these products are provided below in the more section. And a reminder, neither of these products provide any freeze protection. So if you store your vehicle in the winter where it's typically below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Remember to drain your coolant system and install with a glycol coolant appropriate for your engine. If you watched all the way to here, I sincerely appreciate you. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe and, and ring the bell to get alerted when we upload new content geared to help you tune the chassis and the nut behind the wheel, you. As always, be safe, go fast, and have fun. Peace.